Well, so this is an interesting debate because there's a difference between the best methods or the more accurate methods compared to the gold standard. The gold standard is 24 hour uh, uh, urine collection and then measuring the creatinine clearance in there. But we have to use the serum creatinine in the blood as a surrogate for how much uh, creatinine is being filtered through the kidneys. And there's several different equations that can be used. The one that's reported in the lab values that you get on the lab slip called the EGFR, that tends to be the MDRD. And the MDRD is a pretty accurate um, estimation of kidney function or creatinine clearance. The problem is it doesn't align with the FDA standard for renal dosage adjustments. When you get renal dosage adjustment um, recommendations from the FDA drug monograph, that's in Cockroft and Galt. The Cockroft and Galt method is more conservative. It takes into account age and body, body weight. Um, and therefore, for older people especially, the Cockroft and Galt is more appropriate. It tends to be more conservative and underestimate kidney function, but that also makes for safer um, renal dosing. The important thing, though, to remember is that the FDA mandates that the creatinine clearance for the purpose of dose adjustment be estimated in Cockroft and Galt. So it really doesn't matter if all the other methods are more, more accurate. It matters that you're not comparing apples and oranges and you're calculating Cockroft and Galt so that you can match it to the recommended adjustments which are in Cockroft and Galt.